Hello, civil engineers. Today, we're going to be talking about concrete pouring and more importantly, concrete formwork, um, the most interesting of topics in engineering, I know. <laughs> so um, what we're going to be doing is using Civil's AI, some free, a free calculator on Civil's AI to estimate uh, concrete formwork requirements. Um, and so if we go over to www.civils.ai, um, we can open up here a set of free calculators for engineers. We have calculators for geotechnical applications, structural, tunneling. But what we're going to go to is this contractor's uh, set of calculators. And we're going to go to formwork design calculator. So if we open this up, we're going to see in the center here a typical uh, formwork a wall panel formwork that you might see on a construction site. This is using all components from RMD, which is a supplier of proprietary, um, like kind of plug and play type formwork. Um, and you can see here a simple visualization of what that might look like on site. You have ties uh, running through the concrete pour, and on either side, you have plywood panels on the inside. And then you have uh, some kind of structural member like beam arrangement um, on the other side with uh, what you call whalers. And here you have some props which take that resultant force back and resolve it. Um, and normally these are fixed down, they're pinned down here and anchored into the ground because you're going to get an uplift force as this is pushing back. Um, so this is a pretty typical arrangement for a wall. And what can we what can we do here? So with this set of controls, what, what we can actually do is change the concrete height. So we can change this to say six meters. And what we're gonna do is search through the RMB catalog and find the components uh, that are needed in order to create this kind of wall formwork, which is six meters in height. We can also hit here, edit formwork, and we're gonna open up the catalog itself. And you're gonna have product, product names here. So you have different panel arrangements. It's obviously all supplied by RMB. And you can add these uh, panels onto your formwork uh, section over here to increase its width. So let's say we want to add another like 900 or like, let's say 1,200 panel to this. You can see this is going to add on the end. Um, and what we can then do is we can go back to our model and you're going to see we've added this extra section on onto this side. And what this analysis is doing is it's using the concrete pressure uh, calculation which you can control in advanced settings here. So you can control your concrete pour rate, your mixed temperature, and then what type of um, pour, uh, what type of concrete specification you're actually using. So let's say we increase the pour rate here. Let's look at what happens to our maximum concrete pressure. So it's now increasing. So what's happening here is that when uh, on site, when they're pouring concrete, the concrete at the bottom is starting to uh, go off. It's starting to gain strength. So you're getting a kind of like, rather than a completely hydrostatic pressure, like density times by height, you're getting a, um, a kind of like peak, um, a peak pressure, which is where the concrete at the bottom has started to already gain strength. And so what we can do is we can change things here. So this, this is um, mixed temperature will affect how fast the concrete goes off. Your pour rate will uh, affect how, how quickly your the bottom of your concrete is going to uh, gain strength before you're adding more concrete on the top. And obviously changing mix type, adding different admixtures is also going to affect it. And the, the key output from all of this is that we're calculating here the maximum tie load. So each one of these panels from, pro, provided from RMD has a sort of standardized tie arrangement, like a best practice tie arrangement. What we're doing here is finding the maximum tie load of all of these ties you can see in the center here and we're returning that to you. Uh, please note that all of these calculators are just the feasibility studies. Um, these are back of the envelope style calculations for initially sizing up projects. Uh, it should not be used for detailed design. But I hope you find this useful and I hope this kind of free calculator, um, you use it. if you use it on our project, please let us know in, in the comments below. And if you'd like to, us to improve this in any way, please also let us know. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.